Hi Scratchers, welcome to this tutorial on how to make a clicker game on Scratch. Today we're going to be making a clicker game just like my game called Pizza Clicker. We're going to have a usable shop, tons of cool features in the background, and a score counter to keep track of our score and try to get more and more pizzas. Let's begin, but before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm thinking of making my game a Pizza Clicker game, so I'm going to delete the Scratch Cat and make a sprite and call it Pizza. Now I'm going to draw my pizza. Now that I have my pizza, I'm ready to start coding. So, when Greenfly click, show, go to front layer, switch costume to one. This is to make sure that our pizza shows up in front of everything else and makes sure that we can see our pizza when we start a game. Then, to make sure it positions in the right spot, you want to make it go to somewhere in the center of the screen. So, 78, 10. And there we go. Now we're going to want to make a variable and call it clicks. For all sprites. Then, when Greenfly click, set clicks to 0. When this sprite clicked, change clicks by 1. And if we show the variable, when we click our pizza, our score changes. Now we have the basics of the clicker game, but we've got to make it more polished. So I'm going to make it so when you're touching the pizza, it zooms in. So on group, I click forever, if else. And then touching, mouse pointer, and set size. Two, and then you gotta get it plus, minus, and divided by. So right here we're gonna get size plus 100. Then minus that by the size and divide it by 3. Then we're going to get this in there, and we're going to do 90, except we're going to make these numbers a bit smaller, so we're going to do like 10 and 9. There. Now, 50 and 40 would be actually better. Let's test this, you just got to experiment a bit. 50 and 40 is a good number. Depends how big you draw your sprite. Now what would make this game even better is to have a background and stripes. So we're going to make a background and call it background. Draw light blue. And we're going to code when green flag clicked. Show. Go to back layer. This is so that our pizza shows up in front of it. And now I'm going to draw the stripes. So I'm going to make a new sprite and call it stripes. And I'm going to draw one stripe. This is because I'm going to create clones of them. Now let's code the stripe. So when green flag clicked, hide, go to back layer, forever, wait 0 0.1 seconds, create clone of myself. Then when I start his clone, show, go to front layer, switch costume to one, and we need it to go in the far corner, as far as it can go. So, we're going to do that. And then repeat times, let's test this out, 50. Change x by 10. Let's see how this goes. And then delete this clone. Maybe we don't need that there. So this is out, change the time to be like one second, and adjust the time, so it's 0 .0. 0 0.3 would be a nice time, maybe for the stripes. There, and we're going to change this to go to back layer so the pizza's in the front. But then we need this to forever go to back layer, so that this is not in front of the stripes. So now if we test this out, it works pretty smooth. 
We can hover over a pizza, we have cloning stripes, and our game looks polished already. Now, for the last part of this tutorial, we're going to create a shop. So make a new sprite and call it shop. To make this game look better, I'm going to make it more of a monochromatic color. So this will be the background for our shop. We can make it a cubed corner. There we go. So when green flag clicked, show, go to front layer, switch costume to one. There we go. And then we can write the words shop right above it. Now we're going to make our first shop upgrade. So make it called shop upgrade. We can do a blue color. You can do so let's do when you have 100 clicks 100 clicks and you get one click per second there try to get it to fit onto the shop upgrade you can round the corners to make it look better There, and then bring it to around this area. And there we go. So, when green flag clicked, show, go to front layer, switch costume to one. Then, because this is also a front layer, we're going to do test if it'll work. Back layer. Yep, that works. So... Now, to make it interactive too, we can just backpack this bit of code from our pizza. And we can put it into our shop upgrade too. It, there's some small adjustments we need those. We're going to do a smaller size. And we're going to set size to 100. To do... 30, 40, 30, 35, there we go, shop upgrade 1. Now we're going to make sure it works, so when this sprite clicked, forever, if, then our clicks are greater than 99, but we're going to get some and things because we need these two. So clicks are greater than 99, and, and one more and, so, and mouse down, and touching mouse pointer, then we're going to change clicks by minus 100, and then, wait one second, forever, change clicks by one. I'm going to get this right in there. Now let's test it out. So if we click on it, it doesn't work because our score is less than 100. Then if we set our clicks to 100, we click on it, we have zero points, now our points start going up every second. To make sure you can't buy it when you have less points than what's needed, we're going to make sure to code that. So, when this sprite clicked, forever, if, and then we're going to get an and in there, but clicks are less than 100. Then, undo 
and not touching mouse pointer. Then we're going to set our clicks to clicks. There we go. So you click on it and you have less points. It does not give you the reward. For my next upgrade, I'm going to duplicate this, but make it clicks per click. So right there, and we're going to change the value of it. So 500 clicks, and then 10 clicks per click. So to do this, we're going to need to make a variable called clicks per click. And when this right clicked, if clicks are, be are greater than 499, change clicks by minus 500, then do change clicks per click by 10. And in the pizza sprite, do change clicks by clicks per click. Let's test this out. So, so if we set our clicks to 500 and we buy this, then when we click the pizza, our score goes up by 10. And then down below in the sprite, just do if clicks are less than 500. Now for my last upgrade, it'll be a clicks per second one. So I'm just going to make that a little bit lower there. And do, we're going to edit this. So 1,000 clicks, 100 clicks per second. Then we're going to do, if clicks are greater than 999, then change clicks by minus 1,000. Wait one second, change clicks by 100. Then if clicks are less than 1,000, set clicks to clicks. Should work now. Another important thing to do is when you start the game is one green flag click. Set clicks per click to one so you don't instantly start getting the upgrade. If you'd like to learn how to add a high score to your clicker game, check out the video on the top right corner right there. I hope your clicker games turned out great. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Chewing Fruit Gum. Bye.